Hey guys and welcome back to my world. So today I'm just going to do a very quick update on uh, the set spawn in Minecraft 1.6.2. A lot of you guys are saying uh, the previ previous method is not working. So I thought I'll just quickly give you an update. So this is where you spawn. Um, so let me just do a quick kill. Uh, if I do a quick kill you'll see I respawn. And so this is roughly the spot where I respawn. So I'm just going to make a note of where this is by putting a command block on here. Um, but that might not always be where you want to spawn. So let's say I actually want to spawn um, over there. You'll see I made some Lapis Lazuli uh, platform on top of this mountain over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get the coords for that. So this is an important bit. Get the coords. So I'm going to stand right on top there. I'm going to go F F3, as you'll see there's my coordinates. Um, and normally what I do is I do a TP, drag nos, uh, and then I do the coordinates 65.30, uh, 84, and 186.67. So if I TP, I should TP me directly there. Perfect, so now we have the coordinates. Okay, so we are going to use the scoreboard, and I'm going to use something called status, which is something I've you know, it's something I always use, but it's 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 a dummy objective that I create myself. So let me just do a kill so I can end up where at the current spawn. Okay, so now that we're here, the first thing we want to do is actually create the objective. So I'm just going to put a command block here that will determine if somebody has uh, been to your world or not. So if the first time they come into the world, this command scoreboard command will pick that up. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to score uh, scoreboard objectives with an s very very important add and then i'm going to say status now status is my name i'm giving to this and this status that are the first status is the status you need to reference when using uh to test for or anything like that you need to use this status next i i say that this is a dummy variable so it's not a total kill or a kill count or a health it's a dummy uh, objective and then it is the status that will be displayed if ever i do a display it's the status okay so that's the name of the status right so i'm now going to just add a button to this now you can just type it into the commands at the bottom i'm just doing this so that you can actually reference this and come into the world and see it so i'm going to hold down a uh, shift and right click with a button now if I right click the button uh, nothing happens because scoreboard objectives add status dummy status as okay it's because I've already added it okay so it's a uh, scoreboard objectives uh, list so you'll see it's already there okay so I've already added it before right now that we have our status we're now gonna build our mechanism that makes you spawn now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a hopper clock which is basically just pointing two hoppers towards each other so that it just constantly feeds through an item so I'm just gonna put this button in there so oh man nah, just too many buttons one okay so you'll see that it just flashes in and out because the reason it flashes is because it's constantly pushing between the two hoppers if I now add a comparator over there you'll see it now flashes as the item comes into it. Okay, now the next bit um, is going to be a little bit tricky because what we want to do is we actually maybe want to turn this off. So let's just quickly add a lever. Same thing, if you shift click, shift right click with the lever, you can add the lever. So I'm just going to quickly turn off this clock because it might cause us issues. Right, so what we want to do is we want to teleport people that has a score of zero so status of zero to our little platform over there okay so th what we're going to do is i'm going to right click on here and i'm going to say tp at player okay uh, uh, actually let's just go back here let me just go get that tp i did here so i'm going to going into my um chat i'm going to control a control copy control c control a control c i'm going to then go control v into here so there we go there I already have all everything I need so now what I'm gonna say is uh, I'm just gonna change this to say TP at player oopsie at player uh, oh at all just made yeah let's do at all at all now let's just do player TP the nearest player who has a score underscore status underscore minimum equals zero comma score underscore underscore status equals zero Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to TP anyone who has a, a status of zero, uh, minimum status of zero, uh, a status of zero to that exact coordinates that I was above. Now this is the reason I've turned off this clock because the moment I hit done here, 
it would have TP'd me there and constantly TP'd me there over and over and over because I haven't actually changed my status yet. Oh, I see this tree's now in the way. Let's really get rid of this tree. Uh, okay, that should, that should do it. Um, <clears throat> Right, so then the next thing we want to do is we want to actually set the spawn point of anybody in that um, in that spot. So I'm just going to shift, right click the command block right on top of it so that it just constantly does that. Okay, so I'm just going to control V again so I'm just going to, so that I've got the coordinates. This time I'm just going to say spawn point, point uh, at player. Okay. Uh, and then I'm just going to get rid of the spaces here and just add commas where I had the spaces. So anybody who is at that spot, and I'm, okay, I do need to take out the the, uh, the full stops as well. It doesn't work in this particular test. All right, and then I'm going to do a radius of 10. So anybody uh, who is at that coordinates in a radius of 10 and whose score underscore status underscore minimum equals zero, um, Oopsie, zero, score, underscore, status, equals zero. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to set this one point. So let me just make sure everything is correct, that score, it's spelled correctly. So this is important. Everything has to be spelled correctly. Then we add the, uh, com the, the redstone repeater over there. Okay. And then this is where, so I'm just going to copy all of that. Um, so I'm going to copy the top of spawn point one. I'm going to paste it back in here. Okay. And I'm just going to then say, now change anybody who is in, in that, on that spot. So who's at the coordinates in a 10 block radius. So change their uh, scoreboard. Uh, I spelled that wrong. Scoreboard. Players set. So it's important to spell it right. You've got players with an S. And you've got all the spaces correct. Then we set their status to one okay so you understand what now so you guys understand what's going to happen this is going to teleport me um, it's going to set my spawn point once I'm there and then it's going to change my status to one so that I don't get keep on being teleported and that's it so the moment I flip the switch so let me just really score scoreboard objectives uh, set display sidebar status just so you can see see there's I have no status so this, this display does not display because I have no points. The moment I turn this on, I'm going to be teleported and you'll see my st I now have a status of 1. And that's it. Now I can move around and do whatever. The reason a lot of people keep on being teleported is because they don't set their status to 1. They keep their status to 0. So if I go to anywhere in the world now, okay, so let me just do a kill again. Okay, respawn. You'll see I'm now, there we go, my spawn point is set. But if I now go anywhere in the world, and I now set my uh, my uh, okay, so I send my scoreboard uh, players set Dragnos status to zero. Okay, you'll see I'll get teleported. So you can see the command block output there. Teleported me, set my spawn point, and then changed my score to one. And that is it. So the reason a lot of you guys it weren't working for a lot of you guys is because of uh, you're not changing your status, and um, it's also because. A lot of you guys have got the spelling incorrectly. You're spelling scoreboard incorrectly. You're not using the correct syntax for it. Um, so there's a lot of reasons. I mean, I'll probably will. If you guys want, let me know. And I'll probably make a, a short video on the reasons people um, get their scoreboards is not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a, a tower here so you guys can actually find the spot once you log on. Because once you log into this map, you will actually be teleported to that spot. So just look for this. Uh, so you can actually see the mechanism. Cool. Guys, this is, will be up for download. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will check you all later.